Let's bring in Sarah Huckabee Sanders. From, she's the White House press secretary coming to us from the White House. Hey, uh, Sarah, just building on the wall comment, first story in the drudge today, uh, it looks like the wall, we only have two miles built to the wall. Uh, what's going on there? And does the president still think he can get 400 miles done of the wall by the end of the year? Absolutely, and that's that's an incorrect figure. There's uh, far more than two miles that have been built. Uh, we're still on track to get close to 500 miles built by the end of the year. The Army Corps of Engineers, working with uh, DHS and DOD, are putting a tremendous amount of effort into not just building a uh, new wall, taking down some of the barriers that have existed that are completely ineffective, uh, and putting in the, the very effective border wall that they've been building over the last couple of months. Uh, that's going to continue, and we're making great progress on that front. We would be doing it a lot faster and getting a lot more of it done if Democrats hadn't continued to stand in the way of actually securing our border, stopping this national security and humanitarian crisis, and actually working with the president instead of working against him, we would be making even double that progress by the end of the right. year if they would actually get on board and help so how, out. So how much is built? Uh, I know that there have been, uh, there's over 100 miles, I think it's close to 115 miles that have been finished. Mm. And again, we feel comfortable and confident that we're on track to get uh, right around 500 finished by the end of the year. Okay. Speaking of the wall suits uh, that that guy was wearing <laughs> at the rally, uh, they sold out. Has anybody ever gone to the White House in that suit? Not that I know of. We'll certainly have to check. Uh, as somebody who's been unsuspectingly called onto the stage at a Trump rally, I think right. he should just be glad he wasn't fired in front of thousands of people. Uh, oh, maybe right. he'll the get hired. I don't know. You. Maybe that's we'll right. take him with us to every rally moving forward. I, I think it's uh, certainly a reinforcement of the message that the president's been talking about and a recognition of the fact that people across the country support what the president's doing, not just by the suit, but by the sheer number right. of people that showed up. Uh, tens of thousands of people came out to that rally and every other one wanting to help push the president's policies forward. And uh, he just got to do it in a much more uh, unique and, and exciting way. Well, you're going to see more of them in the audience because they are sold out, to Steve's point. Now, we wanted to ask you your reaction to they're not taking any more migrants in, at least right now temporarily, at the processing center down in uh, McAllen, Texas, at the Rio Grande Valley sector, because so many people have the flu down there. And uh, most recently, a 16-year-old child died um, from the flu. What's your reaction? Uh, absolutely horrible uh, case, something that shouldn't happen. And this is exactly what the president's been talking about and exactly what he is trying to prevent. The president and his administration requested uh, funding, supplemental funding, just two weeks ago to help with the humanitarian crisis at the border. Democrats have still failed to do that. Unfortunately, this problem is going to get worse before it gets better if members of Congress and the Democrat Party continue to refuse to acknowledge the problem and start to help us fix it. They have to work with us. We need that funding. We need to fix our laws, right. the broken system. Uh, the president has been right about this from day one. He doesn't want to be uh, this to continue, which is why he has mm -hmm. been so vocal and has been pushing so hard and so aggressively to get this fixed. We have to fix the laws. We have to take away the well, magnets that are putting people through this treacherous journey. And, and Lindsey Graham ignored. outlined it, and Lindsey Graham outlined it, but I don't really see anybody rallying behind Lindsey Graham's proposal. But will the president bring it up today at 11 o'clock when he has Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi at the White House? I don't want to get too far ahead of the president's meeting, but I certainly wouldn't be surprised if this came up. Uh, the president knows we have to deal with this. Democrats have got to uh, work with us on that. They need to work with us to get the USMCA deal uh, finished, voted on, and passed through Congress. It's something that benefits our farmers, right. our workers, uh, and our unions. Everybody wins by the USMCA deal, and the fact that Democrats are dragging their feet on that just shows they care more about playing partisan political games than they do about helping the American. American people. We hope that they come to the table ready to actually do their jobs right. and legislate and quit focusing on these absurd investigations. Well, uh, real quickly, so that is going to happen after Nancy Pelosi in 18 minutes uh, meets with House Democrats to decide whether or not to go forward with impeachment. Uh, she says no, but then you've got the AOC uh, twi uh, Twitter yesterday saying failure to impeach now is a neglect of due process. So it looks like the Democrats are split. 
I, uh, look, I think the Democrats are split because there are some that recognize what a terrible idea this is. There's no support for in the country because they know they have no basis for it. It's not just bad politically. It's just bad governing. Their job is to come here and actually do something and govern, and they're not doing that. And I think what they're taking place this morning, hopefully they're going to have a right. come to Jesus moment where they realize what a terrible idea this is. There is no basis whatsoever for impeachment. The Mueller report was conclusive. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction. And it's time to move forward and get All some right. stuff done. All right. Sarah Sanders joining us from the North Lawn of the White House, where it looks like it's a beautiful day. Thank you it's very much. It's a beautiful Thanks, day. Thank you very much for having me. You bet.